Debits and Credits Explained Okay, so what I'm going to do here today is I'm going to try to explain debits and credits as easy as I can. I know it gets a lot of people confused. Um, for whatever reason, it's really not that clear. Uh, so we'll attempt to break it down for you here. Okay, so in this chart you'll see um, there's a, a debit side, a credit side, and there's arrows, there's um, labels and whatnot. And on the left, um, it says if an asset or an expense increases or if a liability, revenue, or equity decreases, then normally they are recorded as a debit, which is on the left side. All debit means is left and credit means right. And on the other side, on the credit side, if an asset or an expense decreases or if a liability, revenue, or equity increases, they are normally recorded as a credit. And then what I would do is if you, if you can't remember that or if you have troubles remember that, this is a, a nice little chart. You can actually um, screenshot it if you want and save it for future reference, which uh, may be helpful. Okay, so what we'll do now is we'll uh, we'll put some examples to work, and then we'll see how you list debits and credits inside of a journal entry. For um. okay, so let's start out. Um, in this first example, it says Mike paid the August rent to the landlord on August first, uh, two thousand twenty-two, in the amount of seven hundred and twenty-five dollars. Okay, so how do we list that as a journal uh, entry? Okay, well we want to list the date. And then under the account section part, we can list that as rent expense. And then under that um, next column, we'll list uh, the $725 as a debit. Okay, and then we'll go down one line and we'll list it cash. Because cash is affected as well. And then cash will be on the credit side. So we'll list $725 on the credit side. And that's how you do a journal entry uh, with debits and credits uh, for this example. Okay, in this next example, Mike invested $6,000 of his own cash into the business. We'll enter that into journal entry number two. So the first thing we would do is uh, enter the date. And next we will enter the account, which is going to be cash, because cash is affected. Um, and, th and then since cash is going up, uh, we are going to debit that. So it's going to be $6,000 to the debit side. And then the other account that it's affected is owner's equity. And owner's equity is going to be credit for $6,000. And that's how um, you do a journal entry with uh, debits and credits uh, for this example. Now let's go through this example. In this example, Mike borrows $10,000 from Bank of America and deposits it into his business checking account. Let's enter this into journal entry number three. First thing we'll list, of course, is the date. And the first account that's going to be affected is cash. And since Mike is borrowing money from the bank and depositing that cash into his account, um, cash is going to be affected and it's going to go up. So we're, and, uh, in order to increase cash, you want to debit it. So use the debit side. So $10,000 to the debit. And then we'll go down to the next line. The next uh, account that's affected is loans payable. Okay, and then that is going to be affected on the credit side for $10,000. And that is how you do a journal entry with debits and credits for this example. In this example, uh, Mike purchases a laptop computer for his business in the amount of $900. Let's enter this into journal entry number four. Okay, again, the first thing we'll list is the date. And we know that the first account is going to be cash, because cash is affected because he's purchasing something. And since cash is going down, because he's taking uh, cash of $900 and um, paying for the uh, laptop, it's going to go on the credit side. So that's $900 on the credit side. And the next line will go down to, uh, we'll categorize it as office equipment. And then um, we will put that on the debit side, so for $900. And that is how you do a um, journal entry 
for with or with debits and credits uh, for this example. In this example, Mike makes a payment on his loan in the amount of one thousand four hundred dollars. Let's enter this into journal entry number five. So the first thing that we'll enter is the date. And the first account that's going to be affected is cash. And since cash is being paid out, it's going down. And when we uh, make cash go down, we want to always do that on the credit side. Uh, so we'll enter the 1400 on the credit side. And the next line down is loan payable. And then we'll enter that on the debit side for $1,400. And that is how you do a journal entry with debits and credits for this example. Thank you.